Okay, look at the problem B, okay? That's exactly another convolution integral form, right? So that is equal to, we can say convolution form, which is star function, okay? Then where your f of t is equal to um, just t, right? I'm talking about t minus tau part, right? And then e to the tau part, right? So we can say g of t is e to the t. Does it make sense? Okay. So like when we figure this out, that's easy, right? Here we go. Uh, uh, Laplace transform of h of t, which is equal to h of s is equal to by the convolution integral or like number 16 of table, then that is equal to um, f of s times g of s, where um, f of s is Laplace transform of t. Then look at, ta look at table number, number three, it is one over s square and g of s, which is Laplace transform of let me write a little bit more, okay? F of t, which is Laplace transform of t, that's what I want to say, say one over one over s square. And then um, g of s is Laplace transform of gt, which is Laplace transform of e to the t, that is number two, right? It is one over s minus one. Then I can say, h of s is equal to one over s time s squared times one over s minus or we can say one over s squared times s minus one okay 